Lunchtime and the Utah Beef Council is back in the kitchen with the perfect recipe today using easy ingredients. Hopefully you will have these at home already on today's menu steak and bean tostadas. Hi, thank you so much. Yes, Jennifer Burns for Utah Beef Council. I'm excited to share this recipe with you today. Steak and bean tostadas with homemade pico de gallo. Oh my gosh, that makes me hungry thinking about it. I love this one. I'm actually going to go ahead and take my corn tortilla that's golden brown right now. Just been cooking in a little bit of either vegetable or canola oil. Um, just in a small pan here. I do them one at a time. Um, just till they're golden brown, just like you can see right here. Just a golden brown uh, corn tortilla. Put them onto paper towels to absorb the extra um, oil there. And then we'll be building these. Of course, right over here, star of the show, some delicious sirloin steak. Just letting that rest on my cutting board. Going to get a few slices ready because we are topping our tostadas, of course, with our sirloin steak. You could use any kind of boneless steak. Even something like a flat iron would be really good. Cut it into strips or bite-sized pieces and we're just gonna build these tostadas. You can also buy the tostadas already made if you don't wanna go through that first step with the corn tortillas. But it's quite simple and quite easy there. Okay, right over here I'm gonna take, in my pan I've got some hot um, refried beans. You could also use like a black refried beans. If you don't have black refried beans, take black beans, rinse them, mash them up, add a little bit of oil, and you'll have some refried beans there. Okay, gonna get a little bit on both of those. Okay, gonna move this one over to our plate that we're plating on. Just kind of take that, those beans, push them around so you get a little bit on every single bite. Okay, pico de gallo, super simple. You've got tomatoes, green bell peppers, green onions, white onions, lime juice, salt, pepper, serrano or jalapeno if you want a little heat. There you go, we're gonna top it with that. Actually, I'm gonna get some cheese on there too towards the bottom so it melts right away with those beans. Oh, so good. I'm using a Mexican blend, shredded cheese there. The star of the show right over here, let's get that steak on there. Oh, that looks so good, oh my goodness just falling off and then you break into this and you got that crunch of the tortilla you've got that steak you've got the beans you've got the cheese I put a little cilantro on there and then last but not least some just a crunch of some um, lettuce these are all optional you know you put on there what you like and what you enjoy I serve it with a couple lime wedges on the side and last but not least, I'm gonna take a little bit of, of avocado and put it on there. You can also drizzle some sour cream on the top. Okay, there it is. Look how beautiful that looks. Of course, utahbeef.org for more information.